welcome back. It is the end of June and that means it is time for June favorites. So I have several things here. I've got some old favorites and I've got some new favorites. So I'm just gonna jump right in. And I'm gonna start with this powder that I got in my BoxyCharm this month. This is a powder from Ofra and it is this oil control pressed powder and it's just a white powder and what I do is I just use a very, very light hand because it is a white powder and I just dust it all over my face, concentrating on the areas where I get oily and it has been a lifesaver this summer when it's been 100 plus degrees, very muggy outside. It's really kept my foundation staying in place and looking nice all day long. An old favorite that I just rediscovered as I was going through and really digging down to the bottom of my products and making sure that I'm really using the products that I have is this bronzer from Wet n Wild. It's the Ticket to Brazil Color Icon Bronzer. And this is just a really pretty, nice, soft glow bronzer. And it is what I have on my face right now. It's very natural looking. It's not, I have contour on. It's not, um, I have lots of bronzer on. It's just a really pretty soft glow bronzer that looks fantastic for just giving your face that healthy glow for the summer. This is a new favorite. I recently picked this up at Ulta. It's the Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette in Sugar and Spice. I purchased this. I specifically went to Ulta to see what they had for Makeup Revolution and the display was so picked over, but they still had one of these left. And these are just absolutely gorgeous. This is the one that I have on right now. And I think that they are just beautiful. They are super, super pigmented. So you just need to use a very, very light hand. I mean, look at that pigmentation, that's crazy. So you just barely need any at all. So this palette will last me probably <laughs> forever because you need so very little. There's some really shimmery colors in here, some matte colors, some satin colors. So it really is just an overall fantastic blush palette. For highlighting, another new favorite from Makeup Revolution. I bought three of their Vivid Baked Highlighters, but this is my favorite in Radiant Lights. I will say that with some of the Makeup Revolution powders, when I first gotten them, they have not performed very well. And I've just kind of had to soften up and get rid of that top layer. And I definitely had to do that with these baked bronzers with a couple of the blushes, a couple of the eyeshadows. And then they just are like a dream. I did have some problems with this lasting until I got that top layer off, but this is just such a beautiful highlight. And it is what I have on right now. You can see it's a very nice highlight. It's kind of in between a shine like a diamond and a really natural highlight. So that is my favorite one out of the three. I also got peach lights and golden lights. The radiant lights is my absolute favorite. For eyeshadow, these are kind of a new favorite. Again, kind of like the Makeup Revolution blushes. I purchased these, I used them a couple of times. I was like, oh, those are really nice. And then I stuck them in my drawer. So that's part of what I've been doing lately is making sure that I give some love to these products that I have. And these are the CoverGirl, the True Naked. I have nudes and I have roses. Nudes is what I have on my eyes today. And these are just absolutely beautiful colors. They blend beautifully. They have a lot of pigmentation. And they really just, they just perform so, so, so well. So you can see that, you know, they're, that's just a simple swatch. They're absolutely beautiful. They are pretty powdery. The nudes is kind of similar to some of the colors that you're gonna get in the Naked One. The roses is kind of similar to some of the colors that you're gonna get in the Naked Three. This is just a very, the very rosy tones. Very, very beautiful. I think these are about $12 a piece. 
So I would find them at Walgreens or CVS when they have their buy one, get one half off sales. And then you can get one for $6. I still wanna get the golden ones, but I haven't been able to find that in a store yet. So I'm keeping an eye out for that particular palette because I really enjoy these. Let's see, nail polish. This has been my absolute favorite nail polish this month. This is Humidity from the OPI New Orleans collection, and it is what I have on my nails right now. It's just a very pretty peachy pink color. It goes with everything. The formula is fantastic. It's got a little bit of sheen to it, but no glitter. It really stays on my nails very well. If something is too thick with the nail polish, like a lot of the really thicker polishes, they just start to peel, and then I have a real problem with just peeling them all off. And this one, I don't have an issue with that. I've been wearing this on my fingers. I've been wearing it on my toes. It is just my favorite polish color of the month. For lipstick this month, I have two old favorites that I pulled out. I pulled out what I have on right now, which is Lorac's Premier. It doesn't say, it doesn't say which lipstick this is. I don't think that you can get these anymore. Um, this is in the gunmetal bullet. And this is just a beautiful color, just a nice peachy pink color that kind of goes with everything. It goes great with both of those CoverGirl palettes. It goes great with just about everything that I have put on so far this month, and I just really love it. The staying power is pretty good. Couple of hours if you're not eating or drinking, which for just a regular lipstick is fine. Then I also have this L'Oreal's The Balm which this is not my favorite formula. This is in the color 518 Tender Mauve. This is like a lip gloss in a bullet form. And this is just a really my lips but shiny color. It gives me a hint of color and a lot of glow. And so these two colors, they've just been living in my purse. I absolutely love them. The staying power on the balm is not very good, but it does feel like you have a lip balm on with a little bit of color. So that's really nice and it is very glossy. So you don't expect anything that's really glossy to last for a very long time. I do have a skincare favorite this month. This is a new cleanser that I bought from Basha and this is the Detoxifying Black Cleanser. I really like this cleanser because it's a two-in-one. It does two jobs that I want it to do all in one step and that is take off my makeup and clean my face. I really want my cleansers to do that double duty because I am terrible at taking my makeup off at night. I'm very good about getting in the shower and so if I can have a cleanser that will take my makeup off and cleanse my face all at the same time, that's fantastic because most of the time, by the time I jump in the shower, I have forgotten to take my makeup off before then. But this is a black cleanser and when you rub it together in your hands, it warms up so it opens up your pores really nicely, cleans all of that gunk off, cleans all your makeup off, it gets my mascara off, it gets my eyeliner off, and you guys know I use some pretty hefty mascara and eyeliner products. So that says a lot. I, a really good test for me for a cleanser is when I go into my bathroom after I've showered and I get some of my toner and rub it on my face and I almost never have makeup on that cotton cloth. The only time I usually have makeup on it is if I've forgotten a spot. And like I'll forget, you know, right up here, kind of in my widow's peak. And so I'll get some makeup on it for that spot sometimes, but for the rest of my face, it's all clear. When I rub a cotton pad across my eyes, there is nothing there or very, very little at all if I haven't done, you know, a really great job kind of rubbing this in and really working it. You do kind of have to work it a little bit to get your eye makeup off, but by work it a little bit, I mean, 15 seconds, 20 seconds. So when I say you have to really work at something, I mean, it just takes longer than two or three seconds. So really absolutely loving that cleanser. 
Um, last favorite for the month. For books this month, I spent most of the month reading a book that was very long and a little bit tedious to read. I'm not going to put that book in my favorites because it definitely wasn't, but if you would like to see my review on it, you can check out my Goodreads. I do have a link to my Goodreads on my blog, which is dishwaterdreams.com. But that was The Paying Guests, and I don't remember off the top of my head who it was by. But my book favorite this month is actually a series, and it's by Kim Harrison, and I think this is number five for A Few Demons More. The first book is Dead Witch Walking, and if you like fantasy, if you like vampires, witches, elves, pixies, they're all in here. Um, the whole premise of the series is that the majority of the human race was killed off by a genetically modified tomato because they put something in it. There was a, a type of virus in it that killed off most of the human race. So all of the what they call interlanders, the witches, the vampires and all that, they, they just live together now. And the main character is a witch, and she's a bounty hunter, and she has a problem with demons in her backyard. She lives in a church with a vampire who's not dead yet. So it's really, it's really fun. It's not heavy. Um, it's serious at times. There's a lot of action. It's funny. It's just a really fantastic series, and I highly recommend it. It's called, the whole series is called The Hollows by Kim Harrison. So book one is Dead Witch Walking. And I have reviews of those books on Goodreads too. So that is all of my favorites for June. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time.